Welcome to the Hunger Cosmic. What's going on? Today I'm going to be wrapping up my look at LEGO Avatar sets with the Mako sub. Stick around and I will be displaying all four LEGO Avatar sets that I've picked up and give you some final thoughts on this new sub theme. New for 2023, set number 75577, Mako Submarine consists of 553 elements and includes four unique minifigs. This set is currently available and goes for about 60 USD. Here's a better look at the front of the box and the back. I'm kind of bummed we never got these green bat elements. It would have been nice to have some aqua bats. Let's start off with the largest build, the Mako Sub with RDA Quaritch and Spider. A straightforward build with only a bit of studs on side building. A couple of well-integrated stud shooters and rotatable propellers make up the played features for this sub. Though the orange tubes are easily removed for torpedoes if that's where your imagination wants to go. But check out all those cool elements on the display stand. Turquoise bananas, satin trans dark blue cones, medium lavender carrots, wild stuff. Inside the cockpit you'll see not much space and some decaled displays. Here's a look at Lego Quaritch in his human and RDA form. There were no actual avatars in the second film, right? I digress. Here's the sub closed up in its full glory. I'm not gonna lie, not a huge fan of the beak front. There's also a hidden feature. In the middle of the sub holds either a Mako power source or the film's MacGuffin. I'm also not a huge fan of the recent movie-based Lego subs having the pilot fully lying down. Here's the Mako sub next to my all-time favorite LEGO submarines. Note the subs on the left have room for a minifig to stand upright at the helm. And here's a look at the Mako next to a recent large sub from Ninjago. On to the larger side build. I dig this little cave. Again with the awesome elements in use including glow-in-the-dark bits a nicely printed ray, and a teal navi. There's detail inside the cave with two areas that look intended for some storage. This little guy's bow acts as a flick fire play feature. And not a lot to look at, but this small build also has some cool elements. Take a gander at the two way of the water sets together. and a closer look at the two submersibles. Here's all three sand green RDA builds together. One more look at everything you get with this set. Some final thoughts on this set spinning gloriously next to me. I really like the side builds. I think we get some really cool elements in great colors that we don't usually get. And these would work great with any underwater or alien setup you may have already going. As far as the Mako sub, I feel that I have my own bias towards it. I had a little bit higher expectations than what LEGO actually delivered. I find the gappage a little off. I don't like that at all. I don't like the lying down captain that's just staring straight down. And uh, the beak is just very strange to me. Uh, I think that if this vehicle had like an escape pod, or even if they just made better use of this interior space rather than just housing whatever this is supposed to be, this set really would have stuck out and been a, really just a great Lego set for anyone. But as is, I think if you like what you see, you're gonna like it. And here are all four sets I picked up put together. 
Yeah, there are two different environments depicted, but they all go well together. Overall, this sub-theme remained faithful to its source material and gave us a wide array of elements and unique colors. Each set works as a proper display piece or plaything, which should appeal to a wide audience. Do I think LEGO puts out more interesting builds when not licensing IP? Absolutely. But these were all engaging builds and look like they could find their way into a number of existing LEGO displays you may have. When this theme was first introduced, I was most anticipating the Mako sub. But after building all these, I think Atticus's LEGO Space Whale was my favorite experience. Thank you for watching and listening to me go on about toys. If you liked it, maybe give the video a like. Got any questions or thoughts? Leave a comment. Feel free to subscribe to see when the next LEGO video drops. The Hunger Cosmic always hungers for more and will be back. I'll see you when I see ya. Fuck. I just broke the thing. <laughs>